So right now, I'm right in the middle of Icebound, Dean Koontz's third book, so I'm really enjoying the journey on his backlist. So it's time to now talk about his second book. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be talking about Dean Koontz's second thriller he's written called Shattered. He wrote this one in 1974 under the pseudonym of K.R. Dwyer. So it's the second time he's actually used that pseudonym now. It's 245 pages this one, a little bit longer than Chase. And I thought this one overall was a very well written tight thriller. So uh, it involves uh, Alex and Colin who are traveling from uh, Philadelphia to San Francisco uh, because Alex has a brand new job and his wife Courtney has already gone ahead uh, to San Francisco to uh, get the house ready for their arrival. So uh, she's the one that's liaising with the removalists and getting the floors done and all the furniture moved in and whatnot. And it's Alex's job to taxi her little brother Colin across the country uh, and a good opportunity for them to get to know each other a bit better and that sort of thing. So um, it's going to be a brand new life for them all, everyone's excited and uh, when Alex and Colin hit the open road everything's fine and dandy. Now until Colin notices in the uh, review mirror that there's a, um, a car that seems to be following them, it's a, uh, a, a moving van. And uh, at first they think it's a bit of a coincidence but uh, as time goes on we learn that that is not the case. So someone is in pursuit of them with no apparent motive whatsoever and it seems uh, he, the driver who's following them seems to know where they're staying, they know the motels they're going to be at. So even though Alex and Colin outrun and outmaneuver uh, the pursuer, uh, the pursuer seems to always catch up to them uh, at whatever motel they're staying at. So they don't know how uh, this guy knows that. So as the plot moves on, we get to know why they're being pursued by this guy called Leland, what his motives are and whatnot. Now the pursuit across the highways uh, is reminiscent to me of the movie Jewel, if you know that from the 80s, or The Hitcher has certain uh, tones that are relatable to those movies, which I found uh, really entertaining, and the sense of imminent danger and the potential of uh, Colin and Alex uh, potentially being killed, moves the narrative along at a cracking pace and uh, I finish this one in no time. If I can pick on the book for anything, and this is just nitpicking, overall it's a great book and uh, it really shows promise at the time that Dean Koontz was going to go on to become uh, a brilliant author. So if I can pick on it for something, the ending I felt was a little bit rushed. Um, you had all the build up and a really quick climax. I think the climax could have been drawn out a little bit more. I also would have liked to have seen a bit of uh, Courtney and Colin's backstory on how they lost their parents. I don't think it was mentioned uh, in the book how that happened. But uh, apart from that, it was very quick, it was entertaining and uh, you know, the, the pages just flew by. It was a, um, a real page turner, which uh, is all you want in a thriller book. So uh, overall, a really good read, and uh, I'm going to give that four stars. So if you haven't read Dean Koontz before, you can pretty much start anywhere. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to start from the beginning just to run a comparison on what he was like back in the 70s as to what he's like now, which uh, as I've mentioned in a previous video, you can't really get any better. He really can't get any better than that. So that is it from me. I like to keep these reviews pretty short to uh, five minutes or under. Now what's happening uh, with the channel in the next couple of weeks, something really exciting is coming up uh, and that will be my January book haul. It's going to be a major one. It won't be a uh, small one by any means. The packages are starting to roll in and it's taking uh, quite a lot of discipline on my part not to open them until I start filming so well, that's going to be really exciting and uh, you really don't want to miss that. As always offer feedback in the comments and please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will keep churning out the content but uh, until next time see you later.